Well, hi, everybody. It's the day. It's Saturday after Thanksgiving. The day after the day after. Yesterday, I was like... Um, I think I watched a whole season of Miami. <laughs> I need food. I still haven't gotten any food. So today's food. I have to eat. I'm trying to think of oh, food I can I don't know. Just live on for the next week. I need to I'm going to do all the pajama bottoms. Um, I mean it's just I don't know. I wish I could talk. <laughs> it's full on Christmas. And this is the season I love. Soon you'll be seeing lights. I buy a real tree. I am a Christmas junkie. Um, it's the only season I really decorate for. The reef will come out for the front. Um, uh, but unfortunately, it's full blown. I'm going to actually try. I have a few presents I'm going to buy, but I'm going to actually try to full for, forward, full forward, full whatever. <laughs> I am so tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm tired, but. Hello, I'll get over it. Um, it's off to Walmart time. Uh, yesterday I made it through by buying Panda Express. Yay, Panda Express. Love my Panda Express. I think it's one of the, <laughs> the reasons why I love it so much is it's literally around the corner. Um, <laughs> I don't even have to think about where to go. Oh, my hands hurt. Um... I crocheted a dish rag because actually people are asking for them this year so I've got quite a few but I was watching Miami Inc <laughs> and crocheting um, I will show you um, and I was watching Jeannie uh, what's her channel oh lead me to peace and um, I'll show you, Jeannie, what I do, um, but I crochet, but it's a single, single stitch crochet. You could learn it in New York second, and you can make mistakes, and it doesn't show um, what kind of yarn and stuff I use. Um, I think you could knit them, but I like the little loopies I put on them. I'll show you, because um, I just think it makes them look cooler. Well, here, I'll show you one that's like I've made for me. Hold on. I will disappear for just a minute. Let's see if I can find some place to put it. So, I use an all cotton thread. And see, this is just single stitch. And what I do is I make a square. And then I go around it, normally about four or five rows. And then I put these little loopy things on them to make it look cool. This is one that has been washed to death. I mean, this is like been bleached, everything. And it's still very sturdy. They're really nice for like wiping down stuff. I turn my, um, when they get really too old, see if I've got any that it pretty like here's a prettier one here's one that hasn't been washed to death but already has a stain on it so it will go to the polishing furniture but no two come out the same size this one's bigger and you can make mistakes look see how my lines go crooked it doesn't matter they're just dish rags uh, Here's a green one. I like the multicolored threads. Um, you know, 
but they're really thick. They're nice, but they're a hundred percent cotton, so they're very absorbent. I had watched um, Jeannie's knitting, and um, she wants to make dish rags, and they're really easy. But and I think you can knit them fine, but I just crochet them. I just use a single crochet, um, only because that's the only crochet I knew in the beginning until I started making these hats. I don't believe you have to be fancy. You know, my motto is if the yarn if it, the yarn all sticks together. Good job. Well, I, I, I'm just rambling, so I'm going to get it together and go shopping. I have no idea what I'm buying. No. None. And my friend Michelle is coming with her husband. They're bringing they're bringing dinner. Check it out. She's bringing some enchiladas. I'm hoping that I can film while Michelle's here. Um, but I may not. She has gotten quite heavy due to some back problems, and she's very self-conscious about it. I think she's one of the sweetest, kindest women I know. I adore this woman. Um, I can't tell you how much I adore this woman. She is... She's from Nebraska, and I think that she's like the salt of the earth. Um, well, we'll see, because I would love for you guys to meet Michelle and see her. Um, there's just something about her that, you know, it's like, if she's down, I can call her. If I'm down, I can call her. If she's down, she can call me. It's just, but we've known each other like 20, no, I wouldn't say 20 years, probably 15. And I mean, she's just like, she's like excellent. Well, I better go since I'm rambling and rambling, but, so Jeannie, I will show you the yarn, and I hope this will help you out. Um, and if you want, I can try to do a simple lesson on how to make them, but I am like, just a, I, I taught myself how to crochet and knit, so I am like not an expert. <laughs> I did it. Oh my God, is it windy here? It's, it's luckily this man took my cart in because I kept trying to put it in the cart, return it, would just the wind would just blow it right back out. They didn't have a good enough lip. Well, I did. I went shopping. <laughs> I made sure I got ramen and peanut butter for when the grandkids come. And by the way, you know, I nuked the ramens that one night. Put a little butter on them, put that packet of stuff. Was not bad. Ramens aren't bad. Okay, well, I'm heading home. Oh, that was a trip. <laughs> I got, let's see what I got. I got a bunch of junk. Two TV dinners, some bacon. This time, I'm gonna make those pigs in the blanket. I got jalapeno and cheddar. Doesn't that sound good? Quick, easy, I gotta think of easy too. And this looked really interesting. I'm gonna try this. I've not seen this before. It's, they're steamers, and this is their anti Oxen plan. Oh, whatever. It's got broccoli, two carrots, red and yellow peppers, which I love, strips, and garlic herb infused extra virgin oil seasoning. Yeah, that really looks good. And it's you know, about one for me. I love vegetables. So that looks good. I get steaks whenever they're marked down, so I got two ribeyes for $8.28. And then I got, oh, hold on, hold on, going crazy. I got the chicken, uh, $3.61. I don't know, there's like two, four, six thighs. And instead of buying the expensive, 
potatoes. I bought these because they were like one third the cost. And I'll just put seasoning on them. Then I got the two salads I like. And then I got a box of organic spring mix. Because I love the spring mix. And some chips. Breakfast drink. Ranch. Some croissant rolls for the hot dogs. I got some of that parmesan I like that Michael Angelo's eggplant I mean eggplant parmesan. Peanut butter for my grandson, Cheez Its for my son. Ugh. So complicated to try to eat for your family. Let's see what else I got. I got two of these individual Idaho potatoes loaded that I love. And I got some stuff from Rite Aid because I got drugs. Uh, but I need to run over and do a friend a favor and hook up her VCR. I know, VCR. Can you dig that? Let me throw this away. She wants to watch a videotape, so I'm going to grab some AV cables and see if I can fix it. Well, when I went to Rite Aid to get drugs, I mean, look at this. I get drugs. I got some Clairol hair dye. I need a full hair dye. And this one was natural medium brown. And then this is the Garnier that I like um, for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. Sleek and shine, intensely smooth, leave-in condition. I love this. Hold on. I mean, with as long as hair, hair I have, if, if I say it's good, it's good. <laughs> well, I'm going to drink a breakfast. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, I took the lid off it. Oh, my God. I just spilled it all over. i got to get back with you. Oh, that was just a disaster. I literally thought the lid was on the breakfast drink, and I always shake them up before I drink them. Ah, went everywhere. I just got through mopping. When I say everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Oh, God. Oh. When you're tired, anything can happen. Nothing surprises me. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I found the cables I need, but she's not home. So, I don't know why she's not home. She said come by anytime on Saturday. Today is Saturday. I know it's Saturday. Well, hopefully, you'll get to see Michelle. So, I'm going to drink some coffee and maybe try to break alcohol. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> drink a breakfast drink. Oh, I gotta load the dishwasher and finish cleaning up. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Well, this is the yarn I use. And it's the original sugar cream. And I, it, I buy it both at Joann's and Michael's. Any hobby store. Oh, let me get that. And I use a size 10 or J crochet hook. Uh, it's up to you what kind you want. This is just, I mean, I keep it in this bag. It's like a Christmas bag I got like four years ago. And this is, I haven't cut the strings off them yet, but I made this one last night. So, see, that's my hand. So, that pretty much shows you how big they are. Like I said, I like to put the loopy things. I just like chain four and do it every two or three. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. But this yarn is 100% um, 
cotton yarn and I believe some most of the time let me open this one up um, I've been making these forever there is a dishcloth and pot holder recipe on this so if you buy it you can probably get it um, and I just make them this way I actually started making them and went to crocheting um, because I had read actually you know how I like my books I read um, a book on like pioneer type um, things they would make remedies it was basically I think more of a remedies book um, so and it's what they I don't know how they would make them but it, some, something gave me the idea to make it from that book I don't remember because I've been making them for like I don't know I, I asked somebody and they thought a couple decades um, the yarn at first my mother-in-law got for me off out of a catalog because I could not find it locally but I've seen it both at Joann's and Michael's it's 100% cotton it's not like a yarn that you would use to uh, make a scarf with or anything it's um, funny feeling when you first use it because it's so cotton but Jeannie that's it so that's the brand I use and it has to be a hundred percent cotton and it's um, tweaky at first to use but you, you know just make yourself some first and then you know you'll go oh I get this I people love them because they're so you know being hundred percent cotton they're great for scrubbing your dishes your pans your countertops anything you want with them like I said when they get too old I turn them into rags they're great for polishing all sorts of stuff I mean the kids have a set that they use for painting um so it's cool well, I gotta go over and hook up that uh, VCR well Michelle just left I didn't think it would be good but we had great chicken enchiladas she brought them I was like yay so take care everybody we'll talk to you what in two days probably. <laughs>